Well, the car is passing the sniff test. It's early morning. Uh, it sat overnight for 12 hours and I am not smelling gas for the first time in two and a half years. So I'm super happy. I don't know why that uh, nice rubber gasket failed, but it did. And uh, the only thing we don't know is if the gas sensor works correctly. <laughs> so that's, that's the unknown of the equation. Uh, one of the problems I was having too is when I was putting that fuel resistant uh, Permatex on there, it's really a two person job because every time I'd get a little bit on, on, on the shaft of the, that the bobber goes up and down, uh, I go to clean it off and while I'm cleaning it off, there's not enough space. And so I'd push the other side against the wall and it would get stuff on it. And then I go to clean that off and I'd push it again. And it was just like a nightmare. And I called my neighbor. I'm like, I need your help right away. He wasn't home. So, <laughs> so I ended up finally getting it all done myself, but uh, if I would have had the hoses off, it would be easier, but still, it's you got live gas in the tank. It, oh, it's just a big pain. But anyways, um, so everything's looking pretty good. I have a refresh list with literally 24 things on it that are all stuff that I could do. Um, I'm kind of leading up to this. <laughs> I'm still letting it sink in a little bit. Keep telling myself, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. And I'm tackling everything else, but so, and then I'm leaving the uh, insulation out of the car for a few reasons. One is, is I have to have certain panels in before I can put the insulation. But the other is, is it's kind of like a, like a tar, like it, it molds like clay and I don't want to be like stepping on it and squishing it and doing all sorts of stuff to it while I'm trying to work. So I'd, I'd rather work while it's just solid ground and then uh, put it in at the end. So that's what's going on right now. And uh, we're just going to keep tackling it. You have to make sure that you put the seat harness in before you put the body. Now, I've always considered that I wanted to have the seat harness coming out, but then I was like, well, if I get a vinyl waterfall, then I could lay the seat there and like for normal driving and stuff, just use a lap belt, date night, stuff like that. If you want to go to the track or whatever, then you're going to want to put your harness on and having the vinyl would you know, I don't mind the seat belts just laying there, that's fine. Uh, but if it's painted, it's gonna scratch up the waterfall as I'm driving around without one. So I think recently 
Greg was like, oh, why don't we just paint it and forget about it? And so now I'm kind of like, well, worst case, I'm just gonna put the bolts in right now. That way I might forget later. And then we're at least set up for it and I could put the seatbelts on any time. Uh, and then maybe have some kind of padded bag or something that they sit in and lay in behind the seat so it doesn't scuff anything up. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna at least put the bolts in there because that's the right thing to do at this point. So for anybody who thought I wasn't meticulous enough, I'm proving you wrong right now. Man, I can't tell you how good this looks and how it's starting to, you know, you're pushing all this stuff on and it's just starting to feel like it's, like it's coming together. It's feeling solid. Got my wires tied in there. I mean, everything is just coming together nicely. You got the foam up there. Most of this foam is actually <laughs> under this, so I hope that's not a problem, but is what it is. <clears throat> so but yeah this is this is looking nice it's looking really nice so and then I got my taillights all polished up ready to go got connectors I didn't put the connectors on this side yet because I honestly don't know if the body is out here if it's here and I could probably get rid of some of this slack or maybe I need slack to tuck it underneath. I'm not really sure. And then I'll probably put some, some wrap on there. So I'm gonna wait till the body's on before I tie that all in. But I got the other ones not only uh, on there, but if you saw, I was uh, actually marking the color of the wire it goes to. So tan, black, so it's all ready to go. So, this this is kind of like the first time it's starting to feel real like real real like that just looks amazing of course this is under the body so you'll never see it but it looks amazing <laughs> so i'm excited